Hey family and welcome back to this week's vlog. Today we are doing a few things. I am showing you how I restyle my coffee table, basically using just about the same items from my home and just styling it differently so that it will look different. So if you get tired of things as quickly as I do, this is a great way to get it done right. So family, if this is your first time seeing me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. On this channel, we love to do DIY, interior design, lifestyle video, and definitely some vlogging. So if that is what you're looking for, go ahead and stick around. So guys, the first thing you wanna do is clear your surface. If you don't clear your surface, you're gonna start to hold on to things and not want to move them where they need to be moved to. So after you clear your surface, you definitely want to clean it. So I am spraying it down with some Clorox spray and I am going to wipe, give it a good wipe down before I start to restyle the coffee table again. Again, I love doing this because it keeps my plate, my space looking very updated. Um, I am not getting tired of it. So I really, really enjoy doing this. And I noticed, I used to think like, oh, I have to go get something new. I noticed that I can just shop my home or I can just style the stuff differently on the table and that will definitely upgrade it. So it's keeping me in love with my coffee table. <laughs> so what I'm doing is I decided to place everything over on one corner. So in placing it over on one corner, it will definitely make this whole style look completely different because I did have something on every four corners. So just placing and grouping your stuff differently will definitely make that look completely different. Guys, I know you hear babies all in the background, but I gotta get this video done. <laughs> so I have this vase and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick these branches in it I got these branches from Hobby Lobby. Of course, you know, guys, Hobby Lobby is 40% off. So they were about $4 plus a bunch. And I definitely had this on the table before. All of these books were on this table. Okay. The only different thing on this table is that vase and the branches. Okay. So guys, it's as simple as that. I am basically finished with styling the table. Of course, you know, I got to put my box back there that has all my remotes in it. Okay. Okay, family, if you want to see how we came up with this design, go ahead and stick around. The first thing we did, we started with this blank wall. So this house was painted, the entire house is painted with this periwinkle blue, and it has a hint of black. You know, blue has black in it, so it made the house look very dated, and it also darkened the house. It made it feel very small. So we decided to create a featured wall and add molding to the wall. This house has pitch ceilings. So we had to work around the pitch ceilings and make the design work to not make it look like it was a mistake. So this is what we came up with. As you can see, this wall has a lot of sockets and um, receptacles and um, doorbells, like all kinds of stuff is on this wall. So we had to make the design work with those and measure it accordingly. This is how the wall turned out. We did paint it a dark navy blue and it gave such a presence to this space. This mirror here is like everything. And you have to be in the space to enjoy that mirror. This is the sideboard that we got for this space. 
um we have been shopping for a while for the different pieces that we was going to use in this space because we knew that we were going to start back on the renovation of this house you guys have seen this before where we did the fireplace wall so now we're working on the entryway to bring the home to make the house look more contemporary and modern versus that versus that traditional look so I am styling the table and I am doing a very minimal styling because the wall is very contemporary because we're trying to make this look very you know more on a minimalistic side and not too much going on I want the entryway to have a statement and have a presence when you walk into the home and when you're dealing with a contemporary clean line design you do not want to have too many knickknacks you want your design to be very clean and very simple so guys i am trying to make that gold jaw work because i love it so much but in the end i had to move it somewhere else it was not working out on this table but i loved it loved it loved it so so much i really love how this centerpiece turned out and it really did something amazing 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 to the space so guys here is the final styling of this i thought it was just enough not too much just enough the only thing that i would change here is i would get a bigger lamp shade the lampshade is too small so here's the other side across from that wall so this is the fireplace in the living room that we did a few months ago and um you're seeing how everything is basically being married together okay the next adjacent space to this is the dining room and i think i heard him say that one will be next Okay, so guys, this is how this styling turned out. The space looks so, so amazing. Guys, the only thing that I would change here is I would change the lamp. I just think the lamp is too small in scale and that's why I was saying that it needs a larger lamp shade. Here on the videos, it looks fine but promise me in person no it does not work at all it's a little too small for my liking and i know better so when i promise me when i tell you it's too small <laughs> Here is a far shot. You see how beautiful this looks? We just have to work now on the dining room. So I'm waiting for when he's ready to work on the dining room. And I think he said after that he wants to work on the kitchen. So guys, this styling on these shelves is the owner he did this but i am going to restyle it and show him how to better um cluster things together as you can see this is a man space you see this a collectible shelf <laughs> is what i call it but i'm gonna show him how to better cluster things together so it doesn't feel like you know it's you're in a store and everything is just spread apart from each other okay I do like to educate people so when I'm long gone, they can go ahead and do this on their own. Guys, remember I showed you the handles that we ordered for this piece? But when we opened up the unit, we found that the ha it came with handles and they were inside in a box. And these look much better than the ones we ordered. They were going to be a little smaller than these and this looks way better. 
Okay guys, so let's talk about all these different pieces and where we got them from. The lamp definitely came from Overstock and it was two for one. And so we got all coffee table books from Goodwill. Then this statue right here, these were actually silver. We got them from Ross and we spray painted them black. This beautiful mirror that you're seeing here, like one side has black, the other side has the gold metal. It's beautiful. That came from Kirtland's. These stems came from Hobby Lobby. The vase came from Home Goods, and the marble rocks on the inside came from Home Depot. Moving on to this beautiful tray. This tray, we got the tray from Home Goods, this marble tray. And when you want to really create a little vignette on a piece, do it with trays. Trays always do it. All the other pieces he had already. This vase he had already, but we added some um, branches to the vases just to, you know, kind of bring the outside in. And again, these walls were blue. So just imagine the blue being right here. It was very dark and dainty when you walk into the home. But adding the color changed everything. Here are some more books that we got from Goodwill. And we got a lot of princes. They had a lot of Princess Diana books. All we did is we removed the covers and just use it. So while we was looking, I was removing the covers to see what color that book would be and if it will work for us. Here's another one of the statues, again, that we sprayed it in black. It was actually the same color of the ginger jar that you're seeing. This table came from Wayfair. And here are the draperies. So the draperies, we got these from Home goods and what I love about these draperies is the texture and I love the threading that is going through it that is pulling all of the other colors that we have going on in the space it's pulling all of those things together So he did move the plant from by the door because too much sun was coming in on it during the day and he did not want it to get sunburned or anything. So he moved it. He knows better than me because Judith knows nothing about plants. And this planter, we got the planter from Hobby Lobby. Guys, we also took the blue from above here, going down the hallway. We also changed out the ceiling lights at the entry part of the house and going on this hallway. We changed those lights out and I got the lights from Amazon. Um, it definitely brightened up the space. This home was very dark. It was like, it, was, it had no life to it. And changing the color gave it so much more light. We're taking this home from being a very traditional home and bringing it into being more contemporary and modern. This is the dining room and that is that blue that I was talking about that was throughout the entire home. Again, this styling was done by him, not me. I am going to show him how to better cluster pieces together and he will see like how much better it will look. It looks fine now, but it's going to look way better after I teach him how to do it. So when I am not there, you know, you have to style anything. I love to educate people and I love definitely sharing my knowledge. This statue right here is a statue that we were going from Burlington to Burlington looking for. We got two of them. We had gotten one black and the other one was beige. So we couldn't find another black one to exchange it out. 
So we went ahead and we spray painted it. So guys, if you see a piece that you're in love with, go ahead and get that piece. If a can of spray, a can of paint can fix the issue. So guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this install. I hope it gave you some inspiration. We're not a hundred percent finished with it. We still have to fix those shelves, but for right now, I think this is a keeper.